Are airlines prioritizing investment in technologically advanced narrow-body aircraft instead of wide bodies? It's hard to generalize, but opening a fourth assembly line for the Boeing 737 MAX indeed says something about the aircraft demand the US manufacturer Boeing forecasts for the future. Let's look closely at what Boeing has in store. Over the last few years, Boeing and Airbus have progressively invested in developing technologically advanced versions of their narrow-body families of aircraft, the Boeing 737 and the Airbus A320. Increasingly, more carriers have responded positively to the projects, to the point that Boeing has announced the opening of a fourth production line for the 737 MAX in Washington state. The rationale behind choosing Everett as the location for the additional production line lies in the fact that the manufacturer's jet plant in the U.S. state of Washington is getting emptier with the end of Boeing 747 production and the relocation of the Boeing 787 program. Adding to the three already existing lines in Renton, although just two are currently active, the opening of the fourth allows the manufacturer to boost production of the 737. The need to rapidly ramp up production of the MAX reflects Boeing's forecasts of aircraft demand over the next 20 years. Indeed, in its Commercial Market Outlook, or CMO, for the next two decades, Boeing expects the single-aisle market to experience the most relevant expansion with a projected 50% growth. According to an internal memo, the CEO of Boeing Commercial Airplanes, Stan Deal, referred to the second half of 2024. Indeed, activating a production line for a project like the MAX is no simple task, even for Boeing. Deal affirmed that Boeing has already started notifying suppliers, customers and unions. Concluding the notice to the employees, the executive highlighted how the top priority during the process of activating the new production plant will constantly be safety and quality. The Boeing 737 MAX production line in Everett will take the place of what used to be the Boeing 787 assembly bay. However, Boeing is still working on the Boeing 787 program, with some aircraft currently stored in Everett needing fuselage restructuring work. However, all Boeing 787s will be moved to the sadly empty Boeing 747 assembly bay. Deal clarified that Boeing is not moving all Boeing 737 MAX production from Renton to Everett. Indeed, most of the employees working on the 737 MAX project will continue working in Renton, where the third production line is also being reactivated. The production bay in Everett aims to increase capacity and will focus on the latest variants of the 737 MAX, such as the Boeing 737 MAX 8200 and the Boeing 737 MAX 10. The announcement of a new production line comes just days before Boeing delivered its last 747 ever, the Queen of the Skies, a type that first took to the skies almost exactly 54 years ago, is now heading into the sunset. The final four-engined beauty was a 747-8F delivered to Atlas Air, which will hopefully remain in the skies for decades to come. Do you think that airlines are progressively favouring long-range and efficient narrow bodies over wide bodies? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.